This video is showing how to post and insert pictures into your posts. So right now I came to Yuri's blog. Uh, the URL, move this down so you can see it, is carvingdreamsinwood.com forward slash blog forward slash WP dash admin. That's the link I went to. Logged in with the login information. Brings us to the dashboard. Once we're at the dashboard, we're going to say posts, or underneath posts, we're going to say add new. It takes us to the add new post. And I'm just going to title this one new test post. We can type in whatever text we want in here, and then we're going to go to insert an image. In this post, I'm going to go up here and move this down. I'm going to insert a picture right at the top. So I'm going to click on here next to upload insert. This first little icon is to insert a picture. It opens this screen. I'm going to say select the files. Now I already have the pictures saved on my computer that I want. I have them saved here at the desktop. I'm going to click on the image I want to load. It's going to load the image for me. After the image is loaded, it comes up here. I can title my picture if I want. I could put a caption or a description. I want to make sure I click on this file URL to link it if I want it to zoom or depend on which plugins you have. I like to always make sure that file URL is clicked. We can check, choose our alignment. I'm just going to leave this one at center. And I'm going to leave this picture at full size because it's already sized, but I could choose another size if I wanted it to appear smaller. And I'm going to say insert into post. You need to click that insert into post in order for the picture to show up in the post. So here we are back at the post and we're saying, and this is the picture that we just inserted into the post. Notice it's centered. And then I'm going to take and I'm just going to click on this little icon here that puts a horizontal rule line. And we got to put in the width that we want our line. I'm going to put in 600 because that looks good on this site. And there's our line underneath. Now we can go ahead and type in whatever text we want. And I'm going to show you how to insert another picture really quick. We're going to go back to the insert picture or add an image, it says. It's going to take me to find the picture. So it opens here. Notice this gallery says one because we've already opened one image that's tied to this post. So whatever this number is right here is how many images you have that are uploaded with this post. So I'm going to say select files. It's going to take me back to my desktop. I'm going to click on that image because that's the one I want. It's going to upload it for me. I'm going to title this one. That I could put in a caption description, file URL. Notice it's already filled in because I did it last time. It remembers that I prefer that checked. And this one I'm going to align on the left. So we're just going to move it to the left of the screen. There it is, full size. I'm going to take this one down to smaller. So I'm going to choose on thumbnail. And I'm going to say insert into post. So now we're back at our post. And we click on the picture. Here it is. And we can edit image by clicking on that little link here. And one thing I like to do with most of the pictures I put in is I click back on the image, I go to advanced settings, and I click, I put a border of two and vertical space of about five pixels around it so our text doesn't run right into it. I'm going to change this back to original size by clicking on that original size because it's not showing up as small as it is. Oh, we got problems. Uh, this is this is a, a good thing 
worth noting. The picture that I just uploaded was a PNG file, which won't show up on the web. I need to upload JPEGs or GIF files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video really quick, and I'm going to go and convert that picture. But see, there's still something here, so I'm going to click on this Delete. See, if you get a picture in your post and you don't want it there, just click on the or hover over the picture and click on that red uh, crossbar, and it'll delete it. So here we are back at our post. Again, we uploaded a file type that didn't show up. The picture didn't show up, so we know it wasn't saved for the web. we got to upload JPEGs or GIF images. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click on Picture again. Now we have two in our gallery, because we do have two, even though one's not going to show up, because it won't, it won't show because of the wrong file type. But I'm going to go and find my image, which is right here, and you'll notice it says GIF image. So I'm going to open that one. Um, the full size is 48 by 65, or the thumbnail is 35 by 35. I'm just going to use this one full size, but I could choose thumbnail, and I'm going to say insert into post. Now my picture showed up here. So I can come back into the picture, click on the little picture icon, and I can edit it if I want. I can click on advanced settings, and I can put a border around it and create some space around it. Then when I type my text, I can type my text there. I can insert another horizontal rule line. Again, put what width you want the line to go across the page. So you might, gotta, might have to play with that just a little bit to get it just right. But then say I don't like this border on this picture, I can click back on the picture. Click on the little edit icon there, which is looks like a little uh, screen. I'm going to go into advanced settings, and I'm going to change the border to zero. And I'm going to leave the vertical space and horizontal space at five, just so our text doesn't run too close. And now you can see what that looks like there. We got our horizontal ruler, and then I could go adding more text or more pictures here if I want. I'm going to come right over here, and I'm going to say preview over to the right of the screen. And we're going to take a look at our post the way it is now, so we can preview it before we actually publish it live. And here's our post. So right here, see here's the picture we put in. It's got a little border around it that's being controlled by the style sheet, so we could go in and take that border out if we didn't want it. You'll see here's our horizontal lines. Um, see this line I made 600 pixels it's actually running off the screen a little bit because we got this picture taking up space so I want to go back into that line and change it to about 500 pixels to bring it back in the screen so this is a good example of why you should preview it before you post so I go back into my edit screen and I want to take the border off of this picture so I'm going to click on the picture and I'm going to click on this little image here again to edit I'm going to go into advanced settings and I'm going to change the border to zero and put the space back at five. I'm going to come down to the bottom and click update. That's changed and then I wanted to change this horizontal rule here. I'm just going to delete. I'm just going to delete it, enter, and then I'm going to click to enter a new one. And I'm going to say 500. Insert. I'm going to come back over here and preview it. The preview, as you can see right here, it opens in a new tab for me. So this is where I edit it, and this is where it's previewed. So now you can see that the preview here, I took that little border around this picture out. My line's showing up better. I could make it wider if I wanted, but it's fine there. And here's a little picture that I put in here again. Now we can go back and we can publish it. If we want, we go back to this tab where we're editing, and you got the publish button right here. So all we'd do is we'd choose a category to publish in and click on publish, and we're done. So that shows you how to go in, make a new post, edit the pictures a little bit, and insert text, and insert horizontal rules into your posts, and then publish them.